Finding the right time to use your Unite move is one of the biggest indicators between a good player and some of the best players in the world. There might have been times where you felt you could have done more with your Unite move or should have used it more often. I'm going to show you how you can become that player that always hits a good Unite move and always has it up for every fight. I'm playing Gardevoir in this gameplay, so I'm going to throw up the emblems on the screen and as well as the items and you guys can run them whenever you guys want. Gardevoir, it's a little bit of an early game jungler because you have a very strong level 5, but before that, kind of have this really weak phase where you are Ralts before you turn into Curlia and as you can see I'm just sort of battling the camps in here, it's not the greatest. So we want to get that good strong gank, but enough at this point, let's go into the few rules we're going to need to set up a quality Unite move. So I try to fo follow these three rules before I use my Unite move. I have a rule on priority, I have a rule on value, and I have a rule of importance. Priority and importance are a bit different because priority is more about who has to go, like what is the idea behind the Unite move, and the importance is like how essential is it in my team. Like if we're gonna win the game, like is it the difference between a Mewtwo Unite move and like something like a Slowbro Unite move where a Slowbro can isolate and one shot one guy and help the team take that person down, whereas Mewtwo is gonna hit everyone, it's just gonna do a bunch of damage. Realistically, the importance, one has to be hit, another one, okay, well, if it goes, it goes, if it doesn't go, I mean, I guess it's not the end of the world. So, now that we understand, like, a little bit of this differences, let's go and break down the first point, priority. So, the way I like to look at this is we have a few ways and little points that I like to check from my head. So, priorities is, who are the targets we're aiming for with our United move? An example of this would be like, our, you were playing Blissey, and who do we hit on our team? You have a Mewtwo, you have a Cinderace, who is the ideal target to unite, and at what time? What if the Mewtwo goes and suicides in the middle of a fight, do I try to unite and save them? You need to understand the priority and the importance of your unite move. I guess that's where importance has a little bit of a clashing with that too. But yes, you need to know your target. So, I could have an offensive unite move, and this is why I have Gardevoir here. The reason why we have Gardevoir is because it's a very offensive unite move with a very important application. I can CC and effectively 100 to 0 most characters in the game. This is insane. So, what's the point of this unite move then? Like, who's my real target? Like, am I targeting a specific player? Yes, I am. You know, I'm going to look for the carries in this. Or maybe I could hit the text. This is something that you guys have to decide and have a value on to see if you find worth in it. Now, you need to then add up in your head. Is hitting multiple people worth more than hitting just one person that is your priority target? Now, I think most of you will think, oh, well, of course it's better to hit your priority target. That's exactly who you want. But sometimes this can be a bait. We can have a four-man unite move that doesn't hit your priority target. And that can completely win the game because someone else can deal with that target that you would have liked to hit. However, we can hit the priority target and the rest of those four characters will never get grouped up like that again and we might not get that unite move. So always thinking about that angle of things, it can change. Remember these things are not things that are locked in. They're always going to be flexible and depending on the game state they might change. And of course, final point for this is the objective of your unite move. What are you going to do with this unite move? Like, what is your ultimate role? Like with Blissey, it's to save someone. To Gardevoir, it's to take someone off you or to chain stun a group of enemies. The list goes on and on. Slowbro to stun a one teammate, a one enemy. Decidueye to use poke from far away. Mewtwo to kill their whole team. A9 to cast an aura around it to finish off enemies. A lot of different reasons. You need to ask yourself the importance of your United and what the objective of it is. So moving on to point two, value. So I like to ask this question in the context of, can I get a lot of value or create value for my team by doing this United move? So I see four people sta stood in one location. I might think, yeah, that looks like a pretty good guard of United move. I create a lot of value because we're gonna stun them all. And if my team wants to go in, that's an opportunity. Yada, yada, yada. There's a lot actually happening there. I can do that. I have options now and that creates value for my team in that sense and I like that a lot. Whereas 
You can also say, can I get a lot of value in the sense I see five people stacked on top of each other, maybe it's worth it to ulti. And if the time is right, let's just go. Like, what's the, what, what's like the big problem with that? And that's what you gotta decide. Different Unite moves have different values. Like using a Blissey Unite move because we can, is might be better than some other Unite moves. You can just see, we just triple United this guy to break the pad. Was that like worth it, worth it? Probably not, didn't really matter. You know, we just got it out of the way. Is that a value Unite move? Yes, in some ways. We got it out of the way. We made sure we're gonna get another one before Rayquaza. That's, you know, the kind of thinking that we like to promote. So, is the priority of my Unite move worth more than a value Unite? So, that's what you gotta think. The priority Unite move, so where you ult that one target, you save it the whole game to get that one guy, is that worth more than just, you know, uniting to Unite? Or finding value in your Unite move? Like, as I said, getting more in a game. These are questions, once again, you ask yourself, I try to evaluate before I use my Unite. Okay, if I don't ult the, the enemy priority target, do we lose the game? That's what I ask myself. And if I lose the game in my head, well then I'm gonna lose the game probably in the game, and so I try not to make that move. So you can start to see this this fundamental basis of like a, a rule book almost on how we use these Unite moves. So going to point three, the importance. How important is my, my, my Unite move? Like some Unites are relatively unport, unimportant. You have a Blaziken Unite, which is a changing move. It's important for Blaziken, but it could be used at any time. Like, yeah, maybe we don't one-shot someone in a combo, but it's like, if I misclick the button, the game doesn't end. However, something like Slowbro, we misclick it on an Elder Goss at 2.30, we might end the game. Like, it might be over. So that's something else to think about. How many times will I get an impactful Unite move in the game? This is a very big point. You can get many impactful Unites. Now, that's about putting yourself in the position to do impactful Unite moves. If you're not playing aggressively, if you're not trying to push the action like I've talked about in other videos, you're gonna be in a position to get less impactful Unite moves than not most. And of course, the final point for this, in terms of the team, which Unite moves is the most to least important? I mean, this game is a good example. You look at our Unite moves and we have Slowbro, Mewtwo, Decidueye, Azumarill, myself. I already can tell you that Gardevoir sits in the middle. Mewtwo and Slowbro Unite moves are effectively better. However, Decidueye and Azumarill Unite moves are not that amazing. So, that's once again how I come to the conclusion of when I can Unite, when I should get it, and I should get a huge Unite if I do it like such. And you're about to see me set up a really nice Unite for myself. Now, while we set this up, I'm gonna go over some key facts that we can use to get Unite back faster. So of course, having Energy Amp helps you get Unite back faster. The CDR reduction from regular abilities or anything else like that helps you get Unite back. And you can see, this is a massive Unite. I get two guys, a half health batter guy. The game pretty much ends like right here off my Unite alone. But, you farm more, that gives you Unite Move Charge depending on your seconds needed. If you die or if you score, you both get Unite Move back. These are all important concepts. That's how you get those Unite Moves. And what I want to say is you need to follow these map rotations. If you want to make a fight somewhere, you need to move in the direction of the map to that location. I'm going to put a little graphic up on the screen to help describe this a bit better. But basically, the way it goes is if I'm trying to get my Unite move and get a fight in top side, I am going to go and path to the top side slowly from the bot side while taking down the minions. That will give me my Unite move, and by the time I hit top side, I will have that Unite move from killing seven to six minions. That is how you make sure you have these effective Unites. You need to rotate around the map carefully and intelligently. Now you see, I'm just playing secure here. Boom, easy peasy guys. And that's how you win a game of Pokemon Unite by using good Unite moves. One Unite move changed the entire game. They're having an advantage there, they're pushing onto our team. I don't let it happen, I use Unite move and it's all over. This is how you're going to win more games and get more effective Unite moves. In this game, I got a total of 4 Unite moves. That's not bad. And for a Gardevoir who has one of the longer Unite moves in the game, that's pretty decent. And that's how you're going to get more consistent and powerful Unites. 
just being a bit more adventurous, you know, follow these rules that I'm going to put up on the screen in a second, you're going to find yourself succeeding a lot more. I'm really excited and looking forward to you guys, you know, telling me about how you went. Just let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. I'm really excited to see how you guys go with, this, with these new tips and see that you can use a lot more Unite moves in a game. Cheers, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you all next time. Now, cue the end game screen results, which are, of course, going to be great.